And here come the reigning world champions, Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford of Canada, the Canadian flags coming up, making an appearance in the crowd. There's also a lot of those Megan and Eric heads. Faces. Those little faces, on yeah, sticks. on sticks. <laughs> there was a lot of Megan and Eric sightings earlier today. You know you're a star when your face is on a stick. Or a bobblehead. But here are the real ones. And this is their short program. coming up where they start to separate themselves from the herd technically side by side triple lutz jumps nailed it Preparation at all as they get together into that lift, turning both directions, difficult exit. Megan's face says it all. Joy. Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford of Canada reminding everyone why they're the reigning world champions. And you know, for a pair that has still been on top of their game this season, they've had a little hiccups here and there. But they still won just about everything they entered this season. This is the first time I'm really seeing them both very pleased with the short program. I don't think we're going to hear needed to do this, needed to do that. Or maybe because <laughs> oh, if, no. oh, if you're oh, perfectionists, no, no. maybe. <laughs> no, what they captured was the right emotional tone. And somehow they were able to, with this music and with their emotions, especially Megan. Megan really carried the emotional aspect of this skate. They threw their skating up into the audience. Everyone caught it and Rotten threw the love back. And that's, and that's what you're picking up on. There were some little things, nothing really to worry about, but what they didn't do is just sort of go for that extra points. They, they kind of kicked the ball in, they didn't run for the extra points. Did you just deflate me? 
Is that what oh. you just no, said? No, 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 because <laughs> they got all the big stuff done, all the major stuff, all the stuff they needed to do to yeah. build their confidence going into the long. They did. See the landing on the twist? A little on the inside edge, a little tiny bit rough, and that's uh, the triple Lutz landing on, I believe it was Eric who had to fight for it just a tiny bit, and a low landing on the triple Lutz. You see that? A little two foot. So there you go. You got moments where the judges can't go, oh, here's a little more. Yeah. Um, so it was definitely mission accomplished, but like I said, I, I thought it was a really emotional experience. Oh, you could see Megan's face after the first three elements were done. She was as, shining. As bright as shining. her dress. Shining, yes, absolutely. And I <laughs> love the way Eric just, he's, for he, he's, he's a magical partner and he often gets overlooked, but the way, his calmness, the way, to me, he's the rock of the team. You know, Megan is the emotional tyro. You can see it right there. But, but Eric just brings that calmness. He's like the rock of Gibraltar. They make a wonderful team. They do. They really oh, do. You saw Megan there saying, finally. <laughs> so they got that short. 80.86, though, is the score they're going to need to beat to take the lead away from the Chinese pair. 78.18. Megan's still very happy with that. Doesn't put them too far off. And it is a season's best for them, 72.74 is what they had all season long. So beating their season's best and knowing they're not that far off. More coming up from inside the garden here in Boston on CBC. 